Hi everybody, Alyssa here, coming at you from the tiny closet this week. For those of you who are new, hello, welcome, thank you so much for coming. I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on just consuming less, loving what you have, um, and learning how to shop so that you buy things that you love forever. And for those of you who are coming back, big hello to you, and thank you so much for joining me again this week. So jumping right in, this week I am starting a series based on some awesome suggestions and based on one of the first videos I did about how to conquer outfit envy without shopping. Because I think a lot of us do this, we see something that we love on someone or online, on Pinterest, whatever, and instead of focusing on the elements that we love about that look, we focus on all the stuff we don't have, which makes us dissatisfied with our closet, which makes us go out and shop. So this series is to help you develop a thought process of getting creative with what you have uh, and really tailoring the inspiration that you find to what you own and to your personal style as well. So let's jump right in. found this look on Pinterest. It suits my aesthetic. It's minimal. It's casual. Uh, it's got a little bit of edge. So I saw this and I thought, great. I have pants, I have belts, and I have sweaters. So I can totally do this look at home with stuff that I already have. The first thing that caught my eye was how she styled it. I love how she styled this big chunky sweater and she tucked it into her belt. And for me, that's the magic behind that outfit because I've never thought of doing that before. So aside from the how she styled it, the other elements of the outfit that I can control are the silhouette and proportions, the overall style of that look. This is casual, edgy, so I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm putting the outfit together. I'm gonna start with a sweater because that's kind of the main foundation of this look. I'm gonna grab my true heavy weight chunky knit sweater. Um, the sleeves are a little bit oversized, much like the one that she's got. It's got a little bit of a mock neck, which I think is similar to what she's wearing. Um, so we're going to start off with this. So already I'm starting off with a different color palette than her, but again, it's the proportion play that I'm looking for here. So I'm going to start with that sweater. The next really important piece is the styling, which involves the belt buckle. So I don't have, like I said, a monogram Gucci belt. I do have a Statement Moschino belt that I found at a vintage store in Rome. What a great find that was. Um, but you know what, I'm still not gonna use this, even though this is closer to what she's wearing than what I think I'm gonna grab. The reason is, is that I've already started off on a very different color tone. So I'm gonna add this belt that I have found secondhand. I don't even remember when, I've had it so long. Less about the fact that it's a monogram designer belt, more about the look that it achieves by being a strong silver belt buckle. And it does need to be a stronger belt for this look because the weight and the volume of that sweater needs, like the belt needs to be able to match that. So this is gonna work. So we've got the styling down because we've got our belt and our sweater which we're going to tuck in. We want to continue to work on the proportions. So she's got that big chunky sweater and a really nice tapered leg. I'm going to add a skinny jean and for this look to work it doesn't necessarily have to be skinny but as long as the leg is tapered that's what's making this look really interesting is the fact that there's um, a really nice disproportion or a little bit of tension between heavy volume on top and uh, really like thin and tapered below. So instead of the blue denim, I'm going to grab my black high-waisted mother denim jeans um, and I'm going to add these. I don't care that they're black and not blue. Um, I think the look, the whole silhouette still achieved, right? Like I'm not really going for color on this one. So we're gonna add these black jeans. We've done styling, we've done proportions. Now it's about the overall look that she is bringing forward. And I think she's pretty edgy. So I've got these great patent over the knee boots. They've got a nice, easy to walk in, chunky heel. The patent adds edge. 
but if you don't have an over the knee boot I think you can still achieve this look with perhaps a booty or a boot that does have a little bit of edge maybe it's patent maybe it's got a chunky heel it's really about the texture of your footwear and the vibe that it's giving off so let's see this is the look I put together it's a totally different color tone, but I do think it still achieves that edgy, casual vibe that she's got going on. I felt really great and comfortable when I was wearing this look, um, but I mean, I don't know, you tell me, was this an outfit envy fail, or do you think it was a good replicated look that I found online? I'd love to know. I hope this video helps and that it kind of helps you process how you transfer your inspiration from to what you have in your own closet. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tap the little bell to get a notification. And I will see you next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching.